Have you ever wondered where your food actually comes from? Well, today in this video, we're going to cover the Manhattan, Kansas farmer's market, and we're going to show you everything there is to know. What's going on, everybody? Kyle Powers here, Haven Real Estate Group at eXp Realty, K-State grad, turned contractor, turned real estate agent and investor. Today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Manhattan farmer's market. There's a lot of great videos. There's a lot of great content that I'm going to be showing you guys some stuff here. It's one of those things where you know where your stuff's coming from, right? Have you ever actually wondered about the fact of where my food comes from? You know, does it go through the processing plant, get packed full of sodium to where it can sit on the shelf for weeks and months on an end? No, it doesn't. Not at Farmer's Market, right? Here at Manhattan Farmer's Market, every single week, there is a, a spot where all the local farmers go. They bring in their local peaches, they bring in their local fruit, they bring in their uh, farm raised chickens and beef and everything else that comes with that. And it's supporting the community, right? And that's the kicker with this one and what we have to actually bring in to this community and why this is such a big vital part of what we have here in Manhattan. So let's go ahead and just start talking about the locals, right? So you're gonna see a lot of farmers, a lot of people that are coming into here. a &H Farms is a perfect example. They show up to every farmer's market. There's a lot of local people that are there cooking barbecue. They're there uh, creating their necklaces and they're there creating the these products that we go and support, uh, go and purchase and with that part of it, right? The farmer's market is there to be that local avenue for people to come in and sell their products to you and you to get from farm to table, right? And I think that's the big thing in today's day and age where we don't have to worry about stuff being packed full of sodium and everything there. There's a there's a there's a uh, place out there. I think it's called Mad Farms. They freeze dry everything, right? It's just a neat process. Whether it be fruit or Skittles is a big one. My kids love that, as you'll see. But just they freeze dry, and it's just a lot of different and unique experiences that you don't necessarily get. And as this weather warms up, there's it's gonna get bigger and bigger and there's gonna be more and more people out there to support our local community. As you see walking through this stuff, it is packed, right? It's beautiful days, beautiful dimes. It's not always gonna be that way, right? Sometimes it rains, sometimes it's, you know, there's different issues that come with that one, but that it is always packed. Every Saturday morning, it is packed full of people coming in, getting their weekly produce, getting their weekly meat to take care of things, and just supporting these local farms and, and local farmers and, and being a part of the local artisans and everything that comes with this stuff. It's just a really unique experience that you don't necessarily always get in some of these other cities. So I would definitely recommend, or I would highly recommend looking at this, showing up when it is, and if you have questions questions about what the farmer's market actually is, reach out to me, look at online. We can find some stuff for you and get you that contact information for checking out this farmer's market and what that looks like for you in our local area. What does this actually do for our community? Well, that's a thing, right? It goes beyond selling, selling watermelons and it goes beyond selling necklaces. It creates this sustainable community. That's why we do it, right? That's why we go out there. We want to have that human interaction with people. We want to support our local man. We want to support our local woman. And we want to support our local families in, in creating that, that actual community feel with what we have. And I think that's one of the things that I really love the most about Manhattan and what we have to offer and why it is such an important thing for us to be looking at because Here's the thing, if we don't have that sense of community, if we don't have that, um, you know, that place where we can take our kids on, on, you know, Saturday mornings and say, this is where, you know, this is where our food comes from, right? Instead of just going to a grocery store and say, well, this is where our food comes from and it's on the shelves. Don't get me wrong, our local, our, our, you know, our Dillon's and Walmart's and all the food places that we have, they're great and there's a place for that. But I think if you can commute and, and commit to com, uh, supporting local, that's gonna help create that sustainable community feeling for what we have here. Here's my ask for you today, right? And again, one, I appreciate you watching these videos and I appreciate you getting into this stuff, but here's what I ask. Go check it out, right? Go, go jump into the farmer's market, whether it be on Saturday morning or different times or whatever that looks like. Go buy that 
that local peach, go buy that local grown um, chicken or go buy that local free, uh, froze dry, freeze dry uh, Skittles, whatever that looks like for you, right? I want you to go experience it. Go experience what it is for us. Like for me, I feel so passionate about the fact of creating that local and creating that community feel with what we have here. It's one of the most powerful things that Manhattan really has to offer. If you watch any of my other videos, you understand what I look at, what I'm looking for, is I'm looking for that person that is creating that small town experience, right? So if you're if you're going to buy your watermelons, going to buy your apples, going to buy your local grown uh, meats and, and things that way, there's a lot of support with that one. So go support locally, go enjoy that. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I really do appreciate it. If you do enjoy this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go and hit that little bell so you're notified of any future content. Give us that like because it does help us grow the channel. But what I'm going to leave you guys with is this. In a world that's so disconnected from where our source of food actually is, go engulf yourself into the Manhattan market, right? Go engulf yourself into the Manhattan farmer's market and show one, maybe it's you. Maybe you don't know where chickens come from or beef comes from or peaches come from, right? But go show your family, go show the kids and, and actually show them like, this is the person who picked this peach today. This is the person who who uh, picked these apples today. These are the people creating this necklace or creating this wooden structure or doing the face painting or anything like that, right? Go give that gift to yourself and give that gift to your family, to your kids, whatever that looks like, and actually bridge that gap between the two right? Show them that there is an opportunity out there that you can actually do that. That's what Manhattan Farmer's Market can do for you and for your family. So go enjoy that. Again, I appreciate you guys watching. If there's anything that you need, please go ahead and reach out. I'd love to hear from you. My phone number is 785-477-5485. My email is kyle at homesforsalemhk.com. And as always, I'd love to hear from you guys. Put it in the comments below. Let me know if there's a, a video out there. Uh, let me know if there's a product out there that you grabbed from the farmer's market that you thought was fantastic, right? Maybe it's peaches from a &H Farms. And as always, I do appreciate it. If you guys do have questions about buying, selling, investing, or anything real estate related, I'm here to help. Please reach out. I wanna make sure that Manhattan is great for you like it is for me and my family. So please, please let me know if you need anything. And otherwise, thank you for watching. We'll talk to you soon.